Hello and welcome to the Late Model Fixed series and we're here at Martinsville. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I don't think I've ever had a good race at Martinsville, to be honest with you. I think the only times I've ever run Martinsville have been in NASCAR series where we get a caution basically every half lap and then the race is over and you get DQ'd from incidents. And that's been pretty much my every experience at Martinsville so far. But uh, this maybe might be okay in the late model. You know, speeds are a little slower. Um, I mean, we'll see how it turns out. I just finished watching Gavin's race. And uh, he had some troubles, like getting up to speed. And I think I might have some similar troubles too, because I'm not quite all that fast. <laughs> he, of course, did the open series, but... Um, I don't know, I just uh, feel like I have a similar driving style to Gavin, and maybe that driving style doesn't, uh, isn't such a good match for Martinsville. <laughs> no idea, but we're going to give it our best. Uh, it's been a while, uh, I haven't really been able to do any races this week, because my work has been just absolutely crazy lately. Yeah, see how slow I am? This is terrible. Um, work's been absolutely crazy. We've got, uh, we've had a bunch of people leave our, uh, company. So we are short-staffed. I am picking up some of the slack, which means I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm recording this now on Saturday, and I've just been working all too, week, and I'm finally... Finished work tonight, and I'm exhausted after a week of hard work, but there's finally some free time on the horizon, which has given me enough life <laughs> to do a race here. Thankfully, I'm basically missing Talladega week, which, who cares? <laughs> I hate super speedway racing, so if, uh, if I'm going to be busy for any week, that is the ideal one. Maybe I'll do one if I happen to find any time, but if I miss it, I, I'm not going to shed a tear about it. <laughs> um, but I watched Gavin's race. This looked like, uh, like some fun. Uh, maybe a chance to actually have a good time at Martinsville. We'll find out if that actually is the case. Some similar circumstances as well. It seemed like he had some low participation in his race, and I here am racing at like 2 a.m. And it's single split. We got a 2.1k strength of field, which could be worse, though. And we are the number two, so we're not expected to win, at least. But I can tell you right now, I'm not getting second either. <laughs> but well, like I said, we're just uh, we're gonna give it the best shot we can. Hopefully, not get wrecked. My goal here is to hopefully just have a decent reason at Martinsville, because like I said, I'm not sure if that has ever happened. I think I might be... okay. Not one of the slowest out here. I'm right about in the middle. Still not exactly where I'd want to be, but the end of the session. I don't think I'm very fast. I had meaned that. Hmm. Look at that, directly in the middle. How about that? Settings I went with. All default. Good luck, guys. Kind of liked the higher brake bias because it hey, seems like you get plenty of turn through the center already to begin with, and obviously hard braking zone here. So it's nice to have. Nice to have some brake power. Theoretically, I could hit 5,000 I rating this race if I gain like two I rating. I think I'm at like 4998 or something like that right now. But I'm thinking I'm going to end this race farther rather than closer to that, I guess, goal or whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll reach 5,000, probably lose it again, probably gain it again, probably lose it again. Fluctuates as I rating does. And honestly, I always look at like uh, championship points. I feel like average championship points are a better indicator because that's kind of, that kind of gives a bigger importance to your competitors. I don't know. I haven't really thought about that too much, but I've always kind of been more interested in seeing how many championship points I get. Because I can win like a single split race or something and get 100, but I can get 10th and like a 4,000 strength of field and also get 100. 
so I feel like uh, I can tell you a little bit more maybe but for now I'm gonna do what we can I got the inside at least that's kind of neat not sure how much that's gonna matter probably a lot right seems like you really want to be on the inside just hope I don't get run over probably not too unlikely I should probably come into this with my expectations pretty low one to go next time by especially we got a Dale Earnhardt behind us that's always a bad sign sorry if you have a Dale Earnhardt scheme out there but uh, most people who get the Dale Earnhardt scheme are trying to be the intimidator and think that means just run everybody everybody over all the time always and also, that is the highest number car in here as well. So, uh, probably the worst possible person to have behind me, other than maybe like a number one car that underqualified. But um, I'm yet to start this race. Oh my god! Yes, my god. Jesus! Do you want to wreck yourself? Because that's how you do it. How am I supposed to anticipate that? Holy smokes, dude. I don't know how I didn't wreck him. Okay, well, he's gonna wreck that guy. What a moron. So he just came into this race to wreck and get wrecked, I guess. Like, you cannot expect someone to be able to hit the brakes in time if you're gonna slide right in front of someone like that. All crazy like he chose to. Go high. The leader has just done a. Thankfully, I was able to not get into him, but then he just wrecks the sun drop guy in front of me. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of not cool of him. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, it's given us some space. That's kind of neat. Ooh, seven. Get wow, getting very loose. He is all over the place. We are not alongside him. I will not dive him. Try to set something up out of the corner. Especially if he's going to be that loose. Shouldn't be too hard, right? He's probably used to having his uh, setup shop. Setup cars like perfect and drive it forward, and right? As everybody knows that it's, if you have it set up, it'll drive the car for you. Uh, I need that to happen for me because I am all kinds of loose out of the corner there. Mid corner, I kind of drove in too hard. I think I'm driving in too hard. The guy behind has just done a 20.6. We'll try to pressure the seven here. He's already been making some mistakes, so maybe we can get in his head. I need to worry more about myself, though. I thought he was gonna hit the wall again. I need to worry about myself, because I am not very fast. I gotta make sure I hit my marks. Inside, God, why is it slow? <laughs> He's coming to a stop there. I'm not there, so I'm not diving it in, but I thought I could scare him up. So he wasn't having it. It's very nice having space behind. So I don't have to worry about someone trying to take the spot while I try to set a pass. So far, so good. Four X, obviously, from getting into the wreck with. Uh, I think it was the three. Ooh, just I'm trying to focus here. Many people. That was a twenty point seven. Hmm. Very inconsistent. I noticed that during uh, practice. Go high. Go high, everybody. Go high. Go high. Can you not pull out in front of people, please? Ah. <sighs> 
Now, there goes any chance we had of passing the guy ahead. So now we got the three a little closer. Maybe he can come and wreck us. We got in the wall, but I think the car is okay still. No further damage or... I mean, we got something on the right front, but don't know if that's going to affect us. Yeah, these things are kind of a bitch to learn, aren't they? Don't think it's going to affect us, especially on a short track like this. Who knows, though. I don't know these cars well enough to be able to say that definitively, but we seem okay. We're pulling away from three, uh, for now, anyway. Was, uh, I couldn't imagine trying to learn the super late. Yeah, the 8 was talking about how he uh, doesn't really know this car. That's what he's talking about. Like, oh, it's hard to learn. That's uh, why I bought this car in the first place, after all. That's important for me to remember, is to get better at short track racing. Baby! That guy's got a horn on his car, apparently. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. Not sure if we're catching the guy ahead. I should keep an eye on that. Just to see what's going on. Next time we get to the line, I'll take a look at what the relative says. All right, at the line, it looks like he's about 2.7 ahead. Let's see if we can gain it all. Levin, you're an idiot, dude. Levin is, in fact, pretty dumb, based on how he pulled out in front of me earlier. Okay, Colton, we're gaining on the Sorry, Levin, but it wasn't very smart, and presumably he did something else dumb and caused trouble for the nine. So, hit the books, Eleven. Learn some things about Martinsville. Maybe. <laughs> Should be hitting those books. If I want to actually be anywhere near fast. Uh, we are, I guess, gaining on the seven. Kind of got weird there because we had to avoid a, an upside-down car, which probably will have something to do with the thumbnail. <laughs> That's probably pretty eye-catching, an upside-down car at Martinsville. I'm not sure that happens very often. But single split, you never know what you're going to get, huh? Another thing that's interesting is the car ahead of us is also very close to the fourth place car. So maybe they could get to racing and bring themselves back to me. That would also be useful in my pursuit. As we are halfway through this thing right now. That's half distance. The fuel's okay. That last light was at 20.9. Car feels okay. Uh, feels like it might be getting a little tighter, but it was already kind of loose to begin with through the center, so... I am a-okay with that development. Got on the gas a little early there. Pushed out of the corner, had to lift off. Lift off. And that left me with a worse corner. So that's not ideal. Hmm. I'm not very good. <laughs> it would it would seem. Big surprise. Seems like our tires aren't quite rippy enough to be aiming. Uh oh. Low. What do we have? Ooh, that's a. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I was going to look, I thought I saw it was a spot, but I don't think it was. The relative tricked me, because I think he uh, disappeared right when I looked on the relative to see if he was a lap down or on the lead lap. So, me being careful around that actually lost me some time ahead, but that's okay. I don't think I'm catching these guys unless they start bumping into each other or something. We'll do session last lap as soon as I can get that up. See if uh, that can be any sort of insightful to me. 
There we go, session last level. Let's just try to hit some green. See if we can keep steady or even improve a little bit each lap. We'll see. The gap in front is now. Try to wider entry right there. Okay. What if I take a harder entry? Hey, looks like I need to drive in a little harder, maybe. I'm not driving in hard enough. Oh, well, that turn is bad. Hit the fucking gap. That lap was a so people mad at each other, other. that's Coming pretty normal for Martinsville. Although this is just not having cautions is already so much better than most Martinsville races. Because you actually get to race here. There's that inconsistency you can see, like... It's just every time I take a corner, it's... Up a tenth, down a tenth, somewhere in between. It's never very consistent. Glad I discovered I needed to be driving in harder. I do believe that has given me a little bit of a speed boost. Thank you, Delta Bar, for being enlightening. Hopefully the 8 will get out of the way for us. We'll find out. Great job. Game to go. It's not looking like he's going so far. Yeah, he's getting away. Hey, is that another Goodwill car? It's blue and white. Am I the top Goodwill car of the race? Because he's a lap down. I guess if I were the only le Goodwill car, I would still be the top. Good little car of the race. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm trying. I really am. I'm trying to get some speed out of this thing. You've just done a twenty point zero. I'm kind of learning something here. It's like I'm power sliding into the corner like it's Mario Kart or something. It's kind of working. Excuse me, sir. Do I get the bottom line? Clear. Thank you. Sure, I say thank you. Let them know that that is an appreciated gesture. So that way they hopefully keep doing that for other people. Because that is a cool thing to do as a lap car. Alright, Colton, push now. We can catch up here. Hey. That got a little too sideways and it messed me up. Well dang it. Inside, mate. I might Oh, I've done something weird to my tires doing this heavy entry. The gap ahead is now 1.4. Gonna keep doing it though, because I think it is the fastest way around the track. But I think it's too uh, too little, too late. Because even though we are approaching the I don't know who it was that got stuck behind me in the 13 car, but I apologize. I know someone was like. Come on, hit the gas! Yeah, we only got two laps to go. We're not going to catch this guy. <laughs> Even though he does I'm have kind a of lap car in front of him. the other car to let me get in line and let you by. Whoever it was. What flag? What flag? The gap in front is now 1.4 seconds. I think it was the 5 car. <laughs> well, this wasn't so bad. Hey, um, shut the fuck up. Rude. Like one more lap. That lap 
time was 21.1. Guy wasn't being that bad. He's being friendly. Oh, and the guy who ever just keeps talking. Oh, I'm so fucking sorry. You don't have to be a rude prick about it. I agree with Mr. Winter. P6. Okay, that's good. Good race, good win. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Great job. You did really well. Hey, I'll take it. Sixth place. I already knew I wasn't all that fast. So. Uh. Got a 4X. Not much I can do about that. Uh, probably finished ahead of where I should have, honestly, just because guys got wrecked. Not much speed, but, you know, we pulled it around and finished top half of the field. We was about 29 I rating. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> we didn't get uh, 14x or 12x or anything like that. Or the tires, 89.90. <laughs> I think if I had been pushing hard from the start like I did near the end there, I probably would have self-spun. But if I didn't do that, <laughs> then maybe I could have been faster. I feel like I learned some things I could maybe try for next time. But, yeah, look at the, the three there. Like he, he wasn't even clear when he started turning left. Not clear yet. And yet he's turning left like, he's like... Oh, I know, I'm going to be clear. And like, from my perspective, I just don't even see that coming. I s have to slam on my brakes for him. It's like, why would you put that much trust into somebody? These cars don't even have that great of brakes anyway. So, uh, that's kind of asking to get run into. And I bet if like, if I ran into him, he would have been like, Oh, you, you dive bomb me, you idiot. Like, I don't know. I don't know the guy. But that seems like something that would happen. And then immediately after pulling that dangerous move, he just goes and absolutely takes out the four. So, uh, not a stellar first lap. Just, just keeps going. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. Did I hit the back of you? I didn't do that on purpose, obviously. But, uh, see ya. Have a bad race. Hmm. Interesting. So, that was uh, the beginning of the race for us. Now we're going to look at the incidents properly. Yes, the three takes out the four. He wasn't even really that close to him on entry. He just kept going through the center of the corner just to kill him. Eight. Ooh, everyone's kind of looking out. Twelve just drives all the way across the track. That's hmm. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's so desperate not to let off the gas. I guess that he's just gonna hard left it, even though there's a car down here. And it turns out much worse for him than if he just lifted a little bit for the accident. So that's the uh, late model version of Arca Brakes, I guess. Dale Earnhardt. The Intimidator takes out the 11, looks like. And is this one the 11? Ooh. No, I guess he wrecks another time later. Because uh, he's the guy that pulled out in front. And we were coming by. Fifteen intimidates the wall a little bit, and uh, does it while in front of. Oh no, they're on the same lap. The heck! <laughs> I think the three's trying to pass the guy, but the fourteen was actually trying to get out of the way, and so they just ended up in the same spot there. <laughs> kind of looks funny though. <laughs> uh, does he purposely do that? I'm listening to his motor. Like, why are you gassing it up so hard right here? 
Like, that's a lap car, too. Like, he gasses it up hard to hit the 8. I don't know, is that his Dale Earnhardt bump and run? This is why I, like... I'm scared of Dale Earnhardt schemes, because I swear they're looking for every chance to try to be Dale Earnhardt, and then they go and do that. Take a trip to Subway. And they'll stop on the track, I guess. And leave. Alright, good showing. Little wall on exit. Wall in the middle. Looks like he's gonna self spin here, and then this is, is this whenever he pulls out in front of us. It's looking like it's gonna be. Yeah. Just, who cares if someone's coming? Just, just hit the gas. Because, you know, if you wait 0.5 seconds for there to be a gap. You know, you're just, you're going to finish even worse than last. Oh, my bad. He could have finished what Dale Earnhardt did, who stopped on the track before this even happened. It's not very smart there. Yes, thank you. Then he's going to self-spin yet again. Does he pull out in front of someone this time? Nah, he's all, he's all up there, so he doesn't need to do that. It's like Michigan on the back of that car, hitting the wall. Eleven's having a rough time. Big meanie jerk. He's gonna touch the wall straight away. Oh, there he goes. Lap car wrecking a guy in the top five. Or not wrecking him, but getting into him. Oh, and that's how he ended up upside down somehow. Whoa. Don't understand the physics of that one, but... He will end up on his lid and mercifully exits the race. Big meanie poo poo head hitting the wall on the exit. Six is just gonna take out the 12. Wow, these are uh, really cool guys. Like, yeah, he's a lap down, but like, give him a chance to move out of the way. Like, just run into him. I don't know, man. Maybe he didn't do it on purpose. Probably be a little more careful than that regardless, but 12 has crashed, and it looks like they leave. He gets the wall. Not sure where he's going there. He's not paying attention to where this 13 is, I guess. Well, 13's a little up the track, 8's far too close down the track. Both probably could have given more room there. And uh, that is the race. The race is over. And uh, immediately following that, that one guy was very rude. Actually, it was like the white flag lap, he was very rude. <laughs> so, uh, we gained a spot. That's cool, right? I don't know. <laughs> 4X puts us... Uh, I don't know, in good company, I guess. Top half of the field and finishing position and top half of the field in incidents. So can't complain too much about that, especially at Martinsville. So uh, for what that was, probably the best Martinsville race I've ever had. Wow. Wowie. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Sorry there weren't more vids this week. Hopefully I'll be able to have some more free time next week and get out there. And, uh, of course, there's going to be the league race tomorrow, which I wouldn't miss for anything. So, all right. I hope to see you later. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.